I pledge my blade to my friends. Are you praying, Hikari? Don't waste your breath. If you're going to pray, pray for the ones fighting for their lives, not those already in the dirt. I didn't come here to pray. I came here to remember. To remember the friends who gave their lives on the altar of our mission. <clears throat> Today I fight for them. It's time, my prince. Then let's join the fray, Ritsu. Don't soil your britches, Igati. I would worry about yourself. <laughs> My name will be remembered by history. I'll etch it upon the heavens themselves. I won't die in a hellhole like this. Well said, Ritsu. Let us press on, for the glory of Ku! Prepare yourself. Uh... How's this? Uh... It's my turn. Uh... I'll cut you down! Pathetic! Forward, Ritsu! Aye! Good. Prince Hikari's display has put the fear of death into them. Now for the finishing touch. Our time has come at last. Clan Ku shall rise from the desert as its ruler. General Mugen, you lead the pride of our military. The nation of Ku's fiercest soldiers ride at your back. Become the Tempest, and scatter those southern dogs to the winds. <sighs> the sand shall wait for the time to strike, then follow in your wake and scour the field. And when the fury of the storm subsides, our enemies will be smothered and buried. A brilliant strategy as always, Kazan. Your keen eyes see the battlefield as none other, Eagle of Ku. May you have luck on the battlefield. Luck has no place here. Only strength reigns supreme. And the mighty shall build their castles upon the corpses of the weak. Cut them to ribbons! Bring the fury of the desert upon them! Now, you southern worms shall know the vast gulf between our strengths. He's inhuman! The Scarlet Demon of Ku, General Mogan! I Does your will to live burn so faintly, curse? Raise your weapons or be trampled beneath me! Saji! 
Eyes forward, Hikari. Keep going. Steal yourself. Are you hurt, Hikari? The noble sands of Ku dance at your back, and they know no fear. Not a single enemy shall pass through our storm. Raimei, stay close to me. Keep moving. It's my turn. I'll cut you down! What's our plan of attack? Scatter before me! My turn. My blade sinks. Now it begins. My spear does not err. <laughs> Your fate was sealed the moment you stood against us. Ritsu, wait! We've won. There's no need for further bloodshed. Hikari. Ah, here we are. It's the enemy general. Now to prove your mettle, Hikari. Hmm. I shall honor the memory of my fallen allies. My blade will not waver. Now you pay the price for your tyranny, bastards of Ku! It's time to finish this. Come. The sands are at your back. It's my turn. I'll cut you down! What's our plan of attack? Before me, prepare yourself. My blade sings now. Watch me now. I'll cut you down. Scatter before me! For the glory of Clan May. It's over. No. We won't. We won't leave the desert in your clutches. The accursed clan must be... <gasps> Brother. Soft-hearted whelp. Show sympathy to the enemy, and you tarnish the name Ku in the process. The enemy general is slain! Victory is ours! Your Majesty... Today's glory was paid for with the blood of many. But victory is ever an occasion for celebration, Mugen Hikari.
Our enemies have been put to heel, their forces crushed under our might. The nation of Ku shall know prosperity untold. Your Majesty. Hikari, I tire of this heat. Brother, what was the enemy general speaking of? He called us the accursed clan. Is it true? Are we? Put it out of your mind. A half-blood like you needn't worry about such things. Can you hear it too? That voice? Hmm. <clears throat> General Mugen, go with glory. It was your sword that cut the path to victory. You fought fiercely this day. What is your name? It's Ritsu Mishuyo, my lord. Compassion has no place in Ku, Hikari. You are unfit to stand among us. Your brother's wrong, you know. We wouldn't have made it to the enemy general without you. You don't need to flatter me. I didn't do it alone. How long have we known each other? And not once have I bested you at swordplay. You may be the prince, I, but it was by dint of strength that you were made captain. It's all a lowborn urchin like me could hope for to simply be allowed in your presence. Don't be ridiculous, Ritsu. You'll always have a place by my side. <laughs> Is that so? I'll try to keep up then. You can count on it. We live to fight another day, it seems. The battle was long and trying. Let us dedicate this victory to the countrymen we lost today. It was an honor to have you with me, Rai Mei. House Mei is the spear of Ku. We are to be wielded against its enemies. Oh, may I be welcomed among this vaunted company? Of course, Kazan. Without your cunning strategy, we may have very well been buried under the sands. Victory is the sweetest libation. Or so they say. I wager tonight's drink shall be sweet indeed. We can't toast yet, Kazan. The road ahead will be long and fraught with battle. Drinks will have to wait. If you insist, my prince, I see war has only tempered your commitment to duty. Still, promise me that when our conflicts are behind us, we'll raise glasses in celebration. Consider it done.
Lord Hikari. Working up a sweat today, I see. If we didn't say anything, I reckon you'd train until the sun set. I'd be glad to. It's a sign that peace yet prevails. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Lord Hikari, think you could teach me how to swing a sword like you do? If you wish. That may be merely a piece of wood, but don't think you'll have any mercy. Huh? Your stance isn't bad. Now bring in your arms. You should stop this, my lord. Were you seen teaching sword work to this manner of folk? This manner of folk? They're my friends. They're not your friends, my prince. They are lowborns who scavenge for rotten food. They're a stain on our nation. <sighs> they are citizens of Ku, not unlike yourself, and you will show them the respect they deserve. I... Apologies, my lord. That'll teach you to talk back to our lord. Thank you, Lord Hikari. We haven't had a lord that looks out for us like that before. No thanks are needed. All citizens of our nation deserve equal respect. The Lord Hikari. What is it, Suki? A brawl has broken out at the tavern. It's one of Lord Mugen's men. He's out of control. Understood. Let us be on our way. Do you know who I am? I'm a captain, appointed by Lord Mugen himself. The wars have been over for years. That armor won't earn you any special treatment around here. Is this the rowdy customer? Lord Hikari, you're just in time. So this is where you've been since you were driven from the castle, huh? Prince Hikari, consorting with lowlifes. Suppose that's what happens when your family forsakes you. You've got some nerve! <sighs> <laughs> the king grows weak, his mind frail. He can barely lift his sword. It won't be long until General Mugen assumes the throne. So you better fill my cup if you know what's good for you. In the name of the future king! I think you've had quite enough. What do you want? If it's a brawl you want, I'll be your opponent. You've drawn your sword. Now be prepared for the consequences. On your guard. Here I come. Now it begins. Prepare yourself. Not this time. Now it begins. My blade sings. My turn. I fight for my friends. Allow me. For the pride of Ku.
by the tempest. Now, leave. I won't ask again. <sighs> That's our lord! Apologies for the mess. Drink in peace. Lord Hikari, thank you. You needn't thank me. It is my duty. We're blessed that you were appointed to watch over our town. There's been more smiles all around ever since. Oh, it's been too long, Your Highness. Benke, is that you? I can't remember the last time you visited alone. Is something amiss? Uh, my prince, I must ask that you visit me at the Western Keep. I can say no more. All will be explained upon your arrival. Very well. I won't be long. Thank you, my prince. I will await you there. Your Majesty! Why have you left the castle? I would have come if called. This is the only place where we would not be heard. Hikari, I have devoted my life to expanding our borders. Many a dawn has been stained crimson by my ambition. Now at the end of that path, I realize that it has all led to nothing. Hikari, I would ask you, what do you want for our nation? Friends. Allies. Friends that will grow together with us. Allies that hold the same ideals as us. With that, we could realize a world without conflict, without bloodshed. I charged you with overseeing the city, so that I could take your measure, Hikari. And I do not find you lacking in the least. You've brought joy to the people, community. Hikari, I want you to be the next king of Ku. Your Majesty, are you... I'm not worthy. My brother, he... He is consumed by the same ambition that led me astray. He would see the world kneel before him. There is a plot stirring among his troops. We must act with haste. I shall make the proper arrangements and do what I can to keep Mugen's machinations at bay. Please consider what is at stake, Hikari. Father. I too hope that you will take up the mantle of king, Lord Hikari.
A king? Me? Father spoke of a plot among Mugen's troops. What is he planning? I need to get to the bottom of this. Someone in the city must know something. Secrets have a way of revealing themselves. He might be the one. A merchant flourishing in the shadow of the castle. If anyone can tell me what goes on inside its walls, surely it would be him. Although I can't expect his information to come for free. Will this do? I should like to know what's going on at the castle. Have you heard anything during one of your deliveries, perhaps? Ah, the young prince. I believe I can be of service. However... I'll have you know that it comes at no small risk to my person. You'll be fairly compensated. Is this enough? Ah, our Lord knows well the ways of the world. I've heard rumors that unusually large shipments of weapons have been delivered to the castle as of late. Soldiers get chatty during long watches, you see. They say General Mugen meets with this arms merchant upon the crest of heroes. Mugen may be stoking the embers of war. So father was right. I have to ask him myself. Look Mugen in the eye. If that merchant's words hold any salt, then I'll find him at the Crest of Heroes. There's no one here. I suppose I'll wait a while longer. If the rumors of Mugen's ambitions are true, then he must be stopped. You called upon me, your majesty. For centuries has the sword of our clan struck down our foes. Their blood has stained the desert red, and our nation has become great in turn. Glory through sacrifice, such are the words that guide Clan Ku. Morgan, I ask you, what do you want for our nation? Strength. For only the strong can herd the droves of the weak. Such is the way of the world. Strength reigns supreme, always. <sighs> Mugen, 
My son, I called you here to discuss succession of the throne. I know. You've come to a decision. You mean to abdicate to my brother, to give Hikari your crown? What? You are old, your majesty. Frail, as is the nation you lead. But worry not. By my hand shall its glory be restored, its strength. It's been too long, Hikari. In case you were wondering, you can call me Captain now. To think, I once looked up to you. Now fate seems to have brought you low. Ritsu, what are you doing here? You were expecting someone else? Lord Mugen, perhaps? And this arms merchant? It was a trap. One you were all too eager to walk into. The king is dead, and the era of Lord Mugen begins. The city... what have you... Ah, it started already. Let me pass, Ritsu. While you were fritting your time away with commoners, greater men were taking action. Our nation cries out for change, and Lord Mugen will bring it. I'm sad to say, you have no place in his coup. You'll die here, Hikari. What's gotten into you, Ritsu? I have to follow the strongest. I told you history would remember my name. Lord Mugen has promised me it will echo through generations. When I present him with your head, I'll be granted a place by his side. <sighs> so you see, it's nothing personal, Hikari. I must protect my people. So I say once more, and once more only. <laughs> Let me pass! That's the spirit. Time to claim your spot on this hill. Ritsu. My turn. Prepare you. Who's next? Here I come. My blade sings. Now it begins. Here I come. Look well, Hikari. Prepare yourself. Now I get my place. My turn. You're dead. Here I come. Prepare yourself. 
My turn. Look well, Hikai. Prepare yourself. I need this. Now I take my place! Now it begins. I need this. My turn. Now, out of my way, Ritsu! My blade sinks. You fight dirty. The city burns. I must help. Don't let their screams distract you, Hikari. You never did take me seriously. But I'll show you how far I've come. If you want to save them, you'll have to cut through me first. You leave me no choice. Well, he can. My blade sinks. My turn. Not this time. Now I keep my place. Here I come. You're dead. My turn. Not this time. Here I come. You're dead! Look well, Hikari. Here I come. Not this time. Now I go to my place! My turn. My blood boils. I fight for my friends. Time to strike. Now it out of my way. What is this? Ten Good. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Always in the same. You're always one step ahead. <sighs> what are you staring at? Finish this. Do it. It's done. Hikari. You can't deny the blood flowing through your veins. Cut into him. Soak the ground red. Silence. Go away. 
go away. What? Who the hell are you talking to? My lord, you're safe. Suki. The soldiers set fire to the castle. I'm afraid the city is. Lord Heikadi, save our kingdom. Only your gentle hands can guide us back. No mercy for you, Mugen. Majesty, frail as is the nation you lead. But worry not, by my hand shall its glory be restored, its strength. Hmm. I must ask, why, Hikari? What could such a soft heart achieve? Hikari has all the makings of a great king. And what would those be? A brute such as you would never understand. And you do. The king who threw down his sword and cowered in the trappings of peace. Everything you built was only an illusion. I shall build a castle that will stand eternal, and your corpse shall be its cornerstone. be king, and I'll set Ku free of this bloodshed. Mugen is too strong. You cannot hope to face him alone. Run, gather your strength, your allies, only then. And you restore the light to our nation. <sighs> his final words prove his weakness. 
that he would hoist his unfulfilled ambitions on the shoulders of another. Only I am fit to be king. And I shall see the fires of war engulf the world. That was the same world that father lived in his whole life. A world he regretted making. But he came to believe in my vision. A vision for a world not forged by war, but shaped by fellowship. Enjoy your grip on Ku while you can, Mugen. I'll take the throne back and build a country father would have been proud of. A, a coward like you. <laughs> Why, Mugen? Why did you set fire to the homes of innocence? Somehow you've won their love. They might have opposed my rule after your untimely demise. Best to burn the roots of the problem before they grow. You monster! Now don't be a fool. You know your meager skills are no match for me. I told you not to tarnish our family name. Don't die so shamefully, brother. Again? The true king! Benke! It seems a rat got through the cracks in my wall. Your Majesty, leave these curs to me. You hold the future of Ku in your hands. Your father chose to put his faith in you, and so shall I. Don't worry, it'll take more than this gang of ruffians to take Benke down. Go, find your erstwhile allies and return to set us free. For coup! <sighs> Sacrifices won't be in vain. Did you hear about what happened in Ku? Is it as bad as they say? Seems the young prince wasn't satisfied with his lot and tried to take the throne by force. The king is dead, and the elder brother has assumed the throne. How dreadful. We've had peace for so long. My journey begins here. Gather your strength, your allies. First, I must cross the sea and journey east. To the city of scholars where Kazan resides. Or so I've heard. I hope your mind is still keen as a blade, Kazan. 
I will return soon, I promise. And I won't be alone. So this is it. A fitting place for the sharpest mind of Ku's military. And a dear friend. I can only hope the rumors of his arrival here are true. If I was the Eagle of Ku, where would I perch? What is this place? An arena? Kill him! Cut him to pieces! Blood! We want blood! Now, who will our next champion be? Come one, come all! They're betting on these matches? Watch for too long and you'll become unable to tear your eyes away. A toast to old friends, eh? It's been a while, my prince. Kazan! I've been searching high and low. Have you heard? I wager the story has traveled the world and back again. The story of the wicked young upstart and his devious plot. Doubtless carefully crafted by none other than General Mugen. Our home is in danger, Kazan. I need your brilliant mind by my side. Together, we can defeat Mugen and restore peace to Ku. Hmm. An interesting proposition. There were more than a few in Ku who would have liked nothing more than to see you sit on the throne. I admit, I find myself among their company. However, before I help you, might I ask a favor in return? What do you need? Oh, nothing too dramatic. What? What is... Ah, oh, new challenger, huh? That's a fierce-looking sword. Ain't never seen a warrior dressed like that, neither. Well, who will stake their fortunes on this unusual swordsman? Riches await the bold gambler. <sighs> so this was your game. You want me to fight these brutes, but why? What are you mumbling to yourself? If you're gonna give me the first blow, then I'll gladly take it. <sighs> you bared steel. You may come to regret that. On your guard. Now it begins. Prepare yourself. My turn. Prepare your... Here I come. I'll end this.
how's the good? There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Did you see that? He fights like a man possessed! Well done, my prince. I'm glad to see the years have indulged your blade. What's the meaning of this, Kazan? Speak, or I'll slice that cup from your grasp. There's no need for threats, my prince. It was a necessary step if you're to become a gladiator here. What? A gladiator? Generally, the process is a long and tedious one. But I believe you've suitably proven your mettle and your ability to rouse the audience besides. Why do you want me to keep fighting? Uh, <laughs> my coin purse is empty, my prince. Might as well use it as a handkerchief for all the good it does me. The Eagle of Ku has had his wings clipped by debt, you see. And I can't take flight until my burden has been eased. So you mean to gamble your way free? I see your bad habits still follow you. Life is a bitter draft, they say. How can I be expected to stomach it without the occasional snack? All you need is to keep swinging that sword of yours and my fortunes will reverse. Before long, the eagle will have his wings again and will gladly help you in this quest. So long as fighting is all you want me to do, I have no objections. Truly, my prince, you are made of the stuff of kings. Ah, it begins. Defeat is death. the Reaper. The only fighter in this den's sanguine history who has felled a hundred foes. He stands high atop their corpses, and not a single challenger has come close to toppling him. He appears... formidable. That is the truth of this paradise, my prince. The desperate gather to fight for the entertainment of the well-heeled in duels to the death. More coin flows through these hallways than the most bustling marketplaces. Although, I suppose you can give them some credit for not allowing any old fool to wager their life. So you mean for me to conquer the arena? The fact you haven't fled the city means you don't find the prospect an impossibility. So, once you're properly girded to fight for your life, let's get on with it, eh? He's back! The swordsman from the west! Give us a show, eh? You've drawn your weapon. 
be prepared for the consequences. Don't think we'll go down easy, you western snake. Let's put him in the ground. I don't have time for this. I'll face you all at once. On your guard. Prepare yourself. Allow me. Now it begins. How's this? Prepare yourself. I fight for my friends. Allow me. For the pride of Ku. That wasn't much of a fight. I've never seen anything like that. Make him fight to the death! That was a splendid display, my prince. It was a farce. My opponents were wounded. Wounded or no, your victory has won you the right to wager your life. If you desire a real fight, you'll have it. Sharpen your blade. And strike true. What the blazes was that pitiful display? Or no, my lord. We can't fight any longer. Please, give us our freedom. Let us return to our homes. Bandalam. Defeat is death. I've no use for product that avails me no profit. Your flesh and blood are mine, and you will devote it to seeing our guests delighted. The swordsman from the west stands at the ready. Who will meet his wrath? Huh? We don't stand a chance. We can't. Useless. If these cravens won't step forward, then there is but one choice. Go. Show all in attendance why they call you Zeto the Butcher. Use those claws of yours to give our patrons a bloody display. Of course, boss. And don't try anything strange, huh? Bandalam will be watching. Patience, my brothers. I fight so that I can live. It is all I can do. You look fit for war, my prince. This may very well prove worse than any war you've ever seen. Keep your blade steady. I will. Well then. Hmm, a new face. He appears to be from the West. Ku, perhaps. His opponent is Zito the Butcher, undefeated for 22 consecutive bouts. Hmm, who to bet on? There is nothing quite so thrilling as wagering on the lives of such strapping warriors. Hmm. Master Kazan. How will you wager? It takes a shrewd mind to win a seat among this company. I would be curious to know your thoughts. 
I assure you I'm only here by the grace of luck. Now, let us collect the bets. As the host of tonight's entertainment, I shall collect, and the winners shall receive double. Now, who will you place your faith in? Zeto the Butcher, or the Swordsman from the West? 800,000 leaves on Zeto. 1.2 million leaves on Zito. 2 million leaves, Zito. <laughs> Will no one leave their fortune in the hands of the new challenger? Where is your sense of adventure? Perhaps if I raised the payout to, say, five times the bet? 50 million on the swordsman. Oh. Master Kazan, you cannot be. Quite bold, if I may say. Perhaps seeing your countrymen in the ring emboldens you. I hardly need to tell you, but bets cannot be redacted once placed. <laughs> I don't think we'll have to worry about that. The Sword of the West versus Zeto the Butcher. Kill him, Zeto. I've got a lab riding on you. Tear his guts out and show him to us! Why are you here? Because I chose to be. Nothing personal, but this isn't over until one of us is dead. This prison hungers for blood. <sighs> On your guard! Here I come. My turn. Prepare yourself. My turn. Now it begins. I'll end this. My blade sinks. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. <sighs> what? Zito lost? Where did that swordsman come from? He fights like a demon. It appears I'm the winner. 250 million leaves was our agreement, I believe. <laughs> I'm as good as my word. But a piece of advice. Know when not to try your luck. I told you, this isn't over until one of us is dead. I'm ready to receive my fate. Kill! Kill! Kill him! Kill him! <sighs> Hikari. 
This fight got the juices flowing, didn't it? <sighs> Again. The blood draws it out. How long do you plan on playing the part of the noble warrior? Submit to your nature, Hikari. <laughs> I know you better than anyone, Hikari. You have a thirst that can never be sated. Show them, Hikari. Show them your face stained crimson. <laughs> no, you're wrong. You have no idea who I am. Go away! Go away! <laughs> What the? <sighs> We're done. What? You coward! Show us blood! Blood! It appears our visitor knows not our customs. Hikari. My honored guests. Although this rudeness was born of ignorance, I understand your anger. Share in it even. But be assured, all shall be put to rights. Our heroes shall give you all the violence you desire. Defeat is death. You... You can't stop this, swordsman. You would taint a match already won? If you wish to fight, I'll be your opponent. Hmm. You're a curious one. Your eyes, they gaze over the precipice of death. Listen well, swordsman. Death awaits you, and I'll be the one to usher you into its embrace. <sighs> I accept your challenge. Good. Tomorrow, then. Enjoy your final day. By my sword, shall this arena be paid the blood owed to it. Bandalam always has pleased the crowd. I look forward to seeing how you will bet on the morrow, Master Kazan. As do I. As do I. But allow me to leave you with a bit of wisdom. The swordsmen of the West do not yield. <laughs> Puffed up drunkard. That went well, my prince. We've been given a golden opportunity. Win against the hero of the arena, and we'll be set for life. I don't plan on losing. <laughs> Just the words I wanted to hear. My debts will soon be paid. You're a bad liar, Kazan. You're hiding your cup. 
Hmm? A tell you've had for as long as I've known you. There's a sadness in your eyes. Something I've never seen before. What are you plotting, Kazan? May you find glory in battle, my prince. Honored guests, esteemed patrons, today the excitement is palpable. For today, Bandalam the Reaper faces the Sword of the West. Bandalam is the mightiest warrior this arena has ever seen. Winners will receive their bet plus 10%. But should you wager on the Sword of the West's victory, you will receive ten times the amount. What shall it be? <laughs> no one in their right mind would bet against Bandalam. Even Kazan knows luck will only bring him so far. Hmm. Three hundred million. Huh? With my winnings from yesterday, along with my own private funds, I've managed to scrounge up three hundred million. I wager on the Sword of the West. Master Kazan, have you taken leave of your senses? Of course not. And don't bother telling me that bets cannot be revoked. I know. But victory will mean a payment of three billion leaves. I dare say not even Master Borneau has such. A small fortune, to be sure. But is he not known as one of the wealthiest men of this land? I accept your wager, Master Kazan. Let us hope you do not come to regret it. The Sword of the West versus Bandalam the Reaper. Bandalam, 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 Bandalam. Our lives are lived at Master Borneau's leisure. You're skilled, but your loyalty is misplaced. No. My loyalty is placed exactly where I want it to be. I live only to fight, and Master Borneau has given me a path to walk. I dedicate my sword to him. Now come. On your guard. My turn. Now it begins. My turn. Now it begins. Prepare yourself. My turn. Here I come. Uh, uh, 
My turn. Here I come. What is this? Tenakusan! Now it begins. I fight for my friends. I'm sorry for the pride of Ku. Not bad. I've cut through a hundred foes to re- I'm sorry. For the pride of Ku. It has brought you before me. Pursuit of riches? Glory? My friends. They await me on the road ahead. And where does that road lead? I'll become the king of my homeland. I'll reshape it into a nation fueled not by bloodshed, but by fellowship. I'll be a king unlike any other. And to get there, I will go through you if I must. Hmm. I've never seen Bandalam so hard pressed. Master Borno, run! What is the meaning of this? Why aren't they in their quarters? Where are my guards? Bandalam! Oh, curses! Curses indeed. Your hero isn't here to save you now. I've been waiting for this moment for a long while. Your luck has run out, Borno. Vandalam! I want these insects squashed at once! As you wish, Master. You said you fight for fellowship, swordsman. It is good to have a reason to fight. It's what gives a warrior his strength. Enough talk. That's not what we're here for, is it? Let our blades speak. Their story will tell us who is stronger. I will forge ahead to where my friends await. Friends await. You look prepared for the end. Hikari. Hmm, I see. What to do? Hang in there. Let's go! Hmm, I see. Now take your place among the trail of death! <sighs>
Choose your next move wisely. Let's go! Hmm, I see. Slow and steady now. Right! <laughs> Can't let my quarry escape! I'm waiting. Cleaning time. <laughs> I return your wrath twofold. My turn. I need no mercy, only pain. Lion dance. What to do? Heal! Rony! I'm waiting. I return your wrath twofold. Nice one, Hikari! What to do? What to do? Here I come. My you will not stop me. Hienka! What to do? As swift as a snake. But I won't hold back. You're too kind. All tidied up. I've lost. Now kill me. It's the way of the arena. I don't spill blood needlessly. My sword exists only to guide Ku. Your eyes brook no doubt. I'm awestruck, my prince. From east to west, not a single warrior can stand against you. Enough sweet words. They'll rust my blade. Now tell me what you've been plotting, Kazan. Oh, I will. But first... Borno, I believe there is the matter of a bet to settle. Anything you want, just just spare my life. Did you forget? Three billion leaves, payable to me. 
Th that amount is vast. It will take time to gather, and... Then why don't I accept something else as tender? This arena, perhaps? What? A favorable deal, if I must say. Especially if your life is included in the bargain. Uh, of course. You can have it. Take the arena. You drive a hard bargain, Eagle of Koo. Uh. Did you enjoy watching us butcher each other? You bastards! You deserve this! Wait! You have every reason to hate these men, to desire vengeance upon them. But take it from someone who's walked that path. Nothing lies at the end of it. <laughs> we must stop the cycle of bloodshed here and now. A sword should be used to shape the future you desire. Nothing can be gained by sullying your blades with their lives. He's right, brothers. Let's put an end to this. Now. Apologies for the lies and intrigue, my prince. My goal was always to free these poor souls. Kazan. I used to be like them. Powerless. Spat upon. But Lord Jigo granted me a place by his side. Lifted me from my wretched position. And it made me who I am today. <sighs> I only wanted to do the same for them. To give them a place. And that you have. We'll gladly fight for you, brothers. What? Let us fight by your side. For your nation. You're free. I can't get you involved in my struggle. We're free to repay the debt we owe you, then. We want to follow you. This path you talk of, I reckon it leads to a brighter world. For that, my brothers and I will fight once more. I... I don't know what to say. Only know that I am grateful. If you'll have me, my prince, this eagle would like to join your merry band as well. A drink. Tonight we toast. Kazan, this was your plan all along, wasn't it? Even this... You knew they'd join our cause. <laughs> my reputation was earned, my prince. But I must admit, it was entirely dependent on your arrival. In any case, we must gather our strength. I will go to the post town of Ryu to make ready. I must seek out another. Raimei, our old ally. Ah, but before that, my prince, there is one more task I would ask of you. A large shipment of weapons is being delivered to the forest of Wellgrove to the west. Ku is meant to be the recipient. I want you to foil this exchange. The fewer weapons they have, the easier our work will be. If an opponent is snarling at you, defang them. A wise strategy, Kazan. Go there and meet with a merchant named Azuma. He'll provide you with particulars. I'm putting my trust in you, Kazan. 
the eagle puts his trust in you, Hikari. This future you've envisioned, it's worth wagering my life on. Then let us realize it together. Let us return peace to Ku. So this is where the arms trade is to take place. The clouds move swiftly overhead. Just as they did on that day. Looks like more war on the horizon. The life of a soldier, huh? The coin's good, but will I be able to spend it before I'm in the dirt? <sighs> we just have to endure. How much world can there be to conquer? Oh, noble protectors of the castle, would you care to buy any oil? My son is soon to serve within the keep. I mean to celebrate his appointment with a gift. Stay away from us, low-born scum. I can smell your stench from here. Oh, I... I apologize, sir. Forgive me. Was that really necessary? What does it matter? He would thank me for ending his pitiful existence. If he could. <laughs> Do you shed a tear when squashing an insect? Cool will soon grow beyond the need of such rabble. Why... Why did this happen? Why did Father have to die? This is life in Ku. The king cares only about growing his borders, no matter how many lowborn he crushes underfoot. They killed father for no reason, like he was no better than a fly buzzing around their ears. You're Prince Hikari. Hmm. Come here to pray for the lowborn? A rare sight. I'll find the men responsible for this, and they will pay. That won't bring my father back. Won't stop this from happening again. So long as we are lowborn, a boot on our neck is the best we can hope for. Isn't that right, my prince? You can call me Hikari. And you are? Ritsumi Shuyo. Remember it well. I don't plan on groveling in the mud forever. Ritsu. I look forward to hearing the name again. Don't cry, Mika. See those clouds, Hikari? I'm going to etch my name upon them, bold enough for father to see. Just you wait. First things first, 
I need more information about this shipment. I should start by finding that merchant Kazan told me about. Azuma, was it? Will this do? Thank you, thank you. Any small business you can afford me is much appreciated. I sense greatness stirring within you. I suppose Kazan wouldn't have thrown his lot in with you otherwise. What is it he always says? An eagle can take the measure of man and mead alike from afar. Now, as for the matter of this transaction, a little bird told me it will take place deep within the forest, out of sight from prying eyes. Even so, these weapons are vital to Ku's plans and will likely be heavily guarded. Go with caution. I will. Many thanks for the advice. This mission shall determine the course of our nation. It is a great honor to be assigned guard duty, Captain Ritsu Mishuyo. An honor I am all too proud to accept, General. I know of your humble origins. You've done well to reach your station. See these weapons delivered safely, and His Majesty will surely lift you even higher. Yes, General. I'll protect the shipment with my life. I am General Roe of Ku. I come here in His Majesty's stead. I don't care a whit for titles or names. Show me the coin. It's been a pleasure. Almost disappointingly uneventful. Well then, load up the wagons. Prince Hikari? Those weapons stay where they are. But I won't shed blood if I can avoid it. I must set an example for the future of my home. Leave this place now and you'll keep your lives. Hikari. They say you're a traitor. His Majesty has put a pretty price on your head. If you do not stand down, you will face my blade. <laughs> Let's play. Here we go! Right, right, right. Prepare yourself. How's this? Ready? <laughs> Here I go. My prey away. Right, right, right. Here I come. How's this? What to do, what to do.
got you. What to do? <laughs> Casty. <laughs> Heal. I appreciate it, Throne. Casty. My turn. I'll end this. Allow me. At this rate, you've no mercy, only pain. Poison slash. It had to be done. My turn. How's this? My turn. Hang in there. You have healing hands. My turn. Axe attack! Here I go. Huh? Poison slash. Sleep now. Forgive me. <sighs> Curses. Enough. You're no match for me. Hikari. Ritsu. I see you yet live, my prince. Leave the weapons here and go. <sighs> You've come all this way just to snatch glory from my hands again? Fine. I'll repay the debt I owe you. There will be no quarter this time, Ritsu. No one will keep me from guiding Ku to the future I envision. A future without bloodshed. Ha! A grand idea. Why do you need that sword, then? Seems to me that's an instrument of death, not peace. Or am I wrong, Hikari? <laughs> Ku is the product of an endless cycle of war. It was built upon a mountain of sacrifices. So long as Mugen is king, nothing will change. But this sword will sever that vicious cycle. <laughs> it seems you've chosen your path, my prince. But you chose wrong. You should have followed Lord Mugen. General Roe. You had my father's ear, his trust. Sheathe your sword, please. I don't want to fight you. My allegiance is to the kingdom, whosoever may wear the crown. And we are here by direct order of his majesty. We cannot simply abandon our duty. If you mean to take these weapons from us, then it will have to be by force. But be prepared to find out why they call me the Wild Bull of Ku. Better men than you have crumpled before my charge. I never wanted to cross swords with you, who served my father so faithfully. But if you insist on forcing me to bear steel...
Raise your weapon. <laughs> this is what you wanted, isn't it, Hikari? Brace yourself, Prince Hikari. I am General Ro, the Wild Bull of Ku. I shall skewer you upon my horns. Now it begins. Yeah. Prepare yourself. How's this? Too slow. Now it begins. I've got you. Here I come. Now... Prepare yourself. Choose your next move wisely. Here I come. I return your wrath twofold. I return your wrath twofold. Prepare your bloody blood. I'll end this. I fight for my friends. Soul get to set. Stop lying to yourself. You want to kill him. You want to be bathed in this weakling's blood. Allow me to help you with that. <laughs> My blood. Now it begins. <sighs> now, Hikari, finish it. Paint the woods red. <laughs> How much longer will you deny your true nature? How much longer must I tolerate this farce? Go... Away! I see a shadow looms at your back, Lord Hikari. <sighs> Enjoy the time you have. For one day, it will consume you. General Ro! <laughs> Fall back, Captain Ritsu. What? But... Hikari... You will never be king. I'll see to it personally. I'll be waiting for your homecoming. Ritsu... 
What happened to me? Have I lost control? This cannot stand. I won't be forced to hurt my friends again. General Rowe, why didn't you let me take his head then and there? Have you heard nothing of the accursed blood of Clan Ku? I've seen it before, in battle. Something possesses them. It has delivered many a warrior of Clan Ku from the brink of death to the crest of victory. A victory which leaves no survivors. <clears throat> Be grateful that you escaped with your life. Accursed blood? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Sounds like nonsense to me. Regardless, we have failed, His Majesty. There will be a reckoning. General. I failed no one. You were the one who showed your weakness today. What? You arrogant cur! Don't dirty my name by including me in your blunder. And your reckoning has already arrived. W wait I'll apologize to His Majesty on your behalf by gifting him your head. <sighs> the deed is done. Now, what to do with all these weapons? My prince, I have no doubt your mission will go off without a hitch. And when it does, pray, bring the weapons to the town of Ryu. I'd hate to see such fine equipment go to waste. We will have defanged our enemy and sharpened our talons in turn. An eagle affords himself every advantage. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like I'm just another piece in his games. Master Kazan! Welcome, my prince. And well done on procuring those weapons. Procuring? You made me into a bandit. But I suppose I shouldn't complain, given the results. How have your preparations gone while I was away? <laughs> I know that smile. Before us is a foe mightier than any we faced before. A man of my profession does feel stimulated by such a challenge. Reassuring words. Let's have a toast, eh? Tonight, we drink. We've won nothing yet. You shouldn't drink before the victors have been decided. If you insist, my prince. Well then, I believe you wanted to find our old friend Raimei. Indeed. The late Lord Jigo entrusted Clan Mei with stewardship over an outpost on the eastern continent. Their castle lies in the snow-swept northern reaches of the region. Stormhaven, it's called. Then I leave at once. Safe travels, my prince. When next we meet, it will be upon the battlefield.
Treacherous coo worms! I should have known that peace was nothing but false promises! <laughs> Don't be a fool. Treaties exist to be broken. It's simply a matter of how therein lies the art. They made a pitiful effort at resisting your majesty, but now they've been subdued. Sa shall serve us well as a base of operations. Its survivors will bolster our numbers. Kill them all. But, your majesty, there are thousands. Children as well. The grudges they bear will become the seeds of their strength. Best to pluck them from the earth while we can. I won't give the command again, Ageha. Of course, Your Majesty. Ritsumi Shuyo reporting. I've just returned from my duty. And what of General Ro? He was your leader, if I recall. He was, but he betrayed us, Your Majesty. He worked in league with Prince Hikari. In secret, he told the Prince about the shipment, allowing him to steal the weapons. I was forced to flee, but not before taking the traitor's head. Is that so? You bested the wild bull. I, I would risk my very life if it meant one fewer traitor to your noble cause. Hmm. Well done, Ritsu Mishuyo. Still, the news that Hikari yet lives is troubling. He aims to take your throne and is gathering strength even now. Try as he might, he is a weakling at heart. Leave me. Your Majesty, do you believe that rubbish he fed you? <laughs> His words are worth less than nothing. Still, his boldness is impressive, that he would not scruple to use an ally's death for his own gain. I believe I can make use of this, Ritsu Mishuyo. <laughs> Change is upon us at last. Soon, the fires of war shall engulf the world. Your Majesty, Prince Hikari's forces grow by the day. We should send troops to root him out and quash his fledgling forces. You needn't worry about that, Ageha. I've taken care of it. 
If he ever returns home, I'll have his head. The Dark Blood Blade, sacred treasure of Clan Kool. Stained red by the countless souls it has taken. Hmm. A weapon that only I am worthy to wield. His lowborn mother has seen to it that Hikari will never truly be of Clan Ku. His impure blood is destined to be nothing more than rust on my blade. Here at last, the domain of Clan May. It's a fine day for a reunion. I am Prince Ikari of Ku. I seek an audience with Lady Rai Mei. You will not pass, Lord Hikari. By Our Lady's command, leave now or be escorted by force. I recognize you. You were a vassal to Rai Mei. I don't wish to fight. I've only come here to speak with her. Is that so? If you would speak, then allow your blade to do the talking. <laughs> I'm getting tingles! My turn. Sacred Flame! Is that so? If you would speak, then allow your blade to do the talking. <laughs> I'm getting tingles! My turn. Sacred Flame! Is that so? Time to strike! Let's go! My turn. Huh. This will hurt. Prepare yourself. Now. Good. What to do? You're too kind. What to do? What to do? Yeah. I'll end this. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Who's next? For the pride of Ku. Ah, you haven't lost your skill. Now, let me pass. That's enough. My lady. How long has it been, Hikari? Three years since that battle? Raimei, Mugen has seized control of Ku. 
For the sake of our nation's future, I must see him dethroned. So I've come to you. I would have your spear by my side, the Spear of Levin. Together, we can bring an end to Mugen's tyranny. Please, Raimei. I fear I cannot do this without the strength of Clan Mei. You shouldn't have come here. Our friendship has long since ended. What? His Majesty has sent a decree. Any who find you are to kill you where you stand. Raimei. And so now I place my faith in my spear. Call down the Heaven's Judgment and strike down my enemies. I'll allow no one to harm Clan May. <sighs> right, May. Hikari. Hikari. Mother? Where am I? Hmm? <laughs> Are you still asleep? You're in your room, silly boy. Time to wake up. We must greet our new vassals. Of course, Mother. Are you ready, Rai? Today, our clan swears fealty to Clan Ku. Clan Mei shall be the spear which leads the charge into the future, and it shall be wielded by the desert's future rulers. Yes, brother. When war ends, the world shall know peace. The future we've dreamt of shall come. A bloodless future. A bright future. Keep that future in your mind's eye as you serve Clan Ku. I will, brother. I am Jin Mei of Clan Mei. Today, we swear fealty to Clan Ku. I am Rai Mei. You look strong. Can you use a sword? Hmm. I've been known to swing one around from time to time. Oh. Then could you train with me? It would be an honor, my prince. You can call me Hikari. But, my prince, as your servants... There is no need for formalities among friends. Please. Be a good one to Hikari. Of course, my lady. Show no hesitation, Master Hikari. The moment you draw your sword, you forfeit any expectation of mercy. I'll remember that. Train with me. It's time to train. Here I come. Yeah, now I see. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. 
Clan Mei is proud. Here I come. Yeah, now's my chance. Brace yourself. Midori Kiri! Midori Kiri! Here I come. Midori Kiri! Yes! I have a good teacher. You're quick, but your strikes have little impact. Hmm. So I'll just have to get stronger then. Wrong. Swordplay is more about technique than strength. The warriors of Clan Mei are known for their spear work, but I've always been partial to the blade myself. So, allow me to give you your first lesson. Hachimon Jigiri! Uh, that was a painful lesson. But I think I understand. Hachimon Jigiri! But how? You executed it perfectly on your first try. Well, I had a good teacher. Thank you. I wager I'll be learning from you before long. I've never seen such innate talent. One more bout, Jinmei. <laughs> As you wish. You've gotten better, Hikari. Thanks to you and your brother. Now, one more. If you insist. That's... the Bell of Dawn. So there will be war again. Will you both go? Of course. I've pledged my spear to your clan. Mm. I want to go too. You're not ready, Master Hikari. We can't have our prince dying on us. Your mother awaits you in the city. Go to her. This will all be over soon. Be safe. You're our future. I just want to make you proud, Jinmei. You can do so by taking care within the city walls. Rumors abound that the people have turned to thievery. I'll keep my sword close, I promise. I hope to see you returned soon, and safe. I'm already looking forward to our next training session. Lady Kura. There's no need for titles. I was born here too, lest you forget. I've brought Azuki porridge. Please, eat. We can't. If news of this reaches the castle, then... You kept my dear Hikari company, did you not? Consider this a gift in return for your time. Lady Kura, you are too kind. You treat us as equals, as friends even. Words can't express how precious that is to us. Mother! There you are, Hikari. What are you doing in a place like this? 
You don't have to say anything. I know. These are our subjects as much as anyone. You just want everyone to be happy, no matter their birth. That's what I love about you, Mother. Hikari. A dark night has descended upon this world. The people have lost their way. You must be the beacon that guides them to a new dawn. What? Me? The warmth in your heart will never be extinguished. Promise me you'll light the way for others when they are lost. I promise, Mother. Hello, Your Highness. <laughs> Mother, get behind me. What do you want? Money? Treasure? Not quite. We want your life. Nothing personal. I hope you understand. Not bad for a child. Mother! Hikari... Mother! No! If you want to blame something for this, blame this rotten nation. You'll pay for this. What's happening? <laughs> So nice to meet you. I believe you know my name. Hikari. I've had enough. Kill him. <laughs> I've been awaiting this moment for far too long. Brutes such as these exist only to be cut down. I'll be glad to help them along. <laughs> <laughs> Quench the flames. Call out to the night. Master Hikari! What... happened here? <laughs> Have you come to join them? My blade still hungers. Brother, get back! Hmm. Come no further, Rai. I must stop Master Hikari. If I cannot... Brother! What are you doing? Forgive me, Master Hikari. <laughs> like a lamb to the slaughter. Brother! Uh, huh? A dream? Where am I? You're awake. If you're curious, we're in the castle dungeon. I thought for certain the fall would have killed you. But it seems the blood of Clan Ku is as stubborn as they say. 
or I may. Even so, it ends here. You'll be executed on the morrow. By order of His Majesty King Mugen of Ku. I won't die here. There's still too much I must do. Hmm. I've seen that look in your eyes before. I remember. On the battlefield. Even when our prospects were dire, you could inspire us to action with a single look. Keep moving forward, my friends. <laughs> you were fond of that one. I see that part of you hasn't changed. So, how exactly are you planning on escaping this cell and getting on with this mission of yours? I'll find a way. I still believe you'll see reason. <sighs> As if you know anything of reason. There are things I can't simply forsake. On the honor of my spear. And my brother. Junmei. Since time immemorial, Clan Ku has dyed the sands red with the blood of its enemies. And now they have designs to extend their grasp into the eastern continent. Our castle here is meant to be a cornerstone to conquest, and Clan Mei has been given the honor of safeguarding it. Clan Ku would see the world burn. For generations they were known as the Accursed Clan. On that day, I saw why. I saw the darkness within Hikari boil to the surface. Whatever its source, it is not of this world. Hikari butchered those thieves like cattle, but it was due to King Jigo's magnanimity that he was spared punishment. The incident was blamed on a group of dissidents who were inciting unrest against Clan Ku. The truth, however, was much more terrible than that. this happen? <clears throat> it's all my fault. The one who arranged this attack on Hikari and his mother was me. <gasps> By the order of General Mugen, we were to kill the bandits afterwards. No one would remark on a few more bodies. I couldn't refuse. He threatened our destruction. Clan Mei is few in number. We can but obey. This doesn't... make any sense. Why? Why do this? This isn't the future we envisioned. This isn't the path we hope to walk. Rai, I want you to tell me. Just what was the future we envisioned? After walking this bloody path for so long, I've quite forgotten. I just wanted to redeem myself to Master Hikari. Brother! What are you? Don't forget the ideals that led us here. I leave our clan in your hands, Rai. Brother!
You dare show your face here after your failure. Words cannot express my shame. That wretched half-blood cannot be suffered to live. The failure was entirely mine, and I accept my punishment. I only beg you spare my clan. So long as they prove useful, I will leave them be. May Clan May live on. Hikari. Raime? What was I... What happened? I don't remember anything. I'm scared of what flows through my veins. I... Jinmei? That wasn't you, Hikari. Don't blame yourself for my brother's death. Hikari, I realize now. The ideals we lived for were just illusions. But my clan is real, and I must keep them safe. So now I know what I must do. I'll protect House May in my brother's stead. We will survive, no matter the cost. Raime. I made a promise to myself that day. If we go against Mugen's command, he will tear our clan out by the roots. It's becoming rather cold, milady. By that same token, if we pluck the seeds of rebellion from the earth now, Mugen will surely reward our loyalty. Are you truly considering putting Prince Hikari to the sword? I'm considering the fate of Clan May. The only path we can walk is the one which leads to our survival. Hmm. Surely you would agree, brother. What are you doing here? I'm here to ask you a question, Lord Hikari. Do you consider my lady to be a friend? Of course. I wouldn't have come here otherwise. I know she bears a great burden of responsibility. I know she suffers under the weight. Aye. For a long while she has been trapped in the cage of her own fear. Ever since the day she lost her brother. <sighs> Master Kunzo. And killing you would only tighten the chains that bind her. But there is hope. I beg you, Lord Hikari. Sunder the shackles that stifle her. Free her from her cell. Thank you, Master Kunzo. You've given me great insight. I will do all I can. Ah, 
Hikari. I see Kunzo needs a stern talking to. Raimei, do you really mean to follow Mugen blindly? Even if he leads you into an ocean of blood? <laughs> Mugen would have the whole world at his feet, but at the end of his path lies nothing. We have to stop him, or we are all lost. So that's the path you believe in, Hikari. My brother and I used to have faith in the future as well. But now there is only me. Not everyone can walk a path of their convictions. It never ends. One must be willing to leave everything else behind in their journey. And so instead of placing my faith in the future, I've chosen to put the safety of my clan above all. Raimei, we needn't walk separate paths. You said it yourself. You used to believe in a future where we look to each other for guidance, for support. Silence. We cannot quit the paths we make or we'll lose sight of ourselves. We must keep moving forward with our heads held high. You know this, Raimei. I said silence, Hikari. It was your accursed blood that took my brother from me. The stain of Clan Ku. I won't let it take anything from me again. Even at the cost of everything else, Clan May will endure. Raimei, this isn't the path I wanted to walk. And who among us chooses our own path? We've lost much and more on our journeys to this moment. But no matter what, I shall ensure the safety of my clan. Cleaning time. What to do? What to do? Axe attack! Now it begins. Allow me. I've got it. Now! My turn. Axe attack. Here we go. Here I come. I'm waiting. Cleaning time. Heal! Many thanks. Well now. Poison Slash! Right! Can't let my quarry escape! Here I come. Choose your next move wisely. 
cleaning time. Heal! I'm back! I return your wrath twofold. What to do? Ah, sorry, but I won't hold back. You're open. My turn. Here I come. My blade sings. I return your wrath twofold. My prey awaits. Can't let my quarry escape. Lion dance. Here I uh. Allow me. Time to strike. My turn. Watch me. Heal. I'm back. Cleaning time. You're too kind. Prepare yourself. Rainey, listen to what is this? Ten Lakusan! Good. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. I'm not finished yet I swore I swore my clan would see no harm my spear will not yield <gasps> Hikari it was clan May that took your mother from you we sent the bandits that killed her. Forgive me. I know. I also know it was done by order of Mugen. You and yours are blameless. The sin lies on Ku's shoulders. My mother, your brother, they were both victims of our nation's cruelty. <laughs> I know you sought the same future as I, Raimei. A bloodless future. A peaceful future. <gasps> That's still attainable. We must cut Mugen down and steer Ku away from that ocean of blood. That is the path I've chosen. Forge it with me. I cannot do it alone, Raime. My clan, 
I... I was ready to kill you to keep them safe for the second time. It's too late for me. I've already bent the knee to Mugen. I can't walk by your side. I, I can't. Kill me, Hikari. It's more than I deserve. I will await you at Ku, Raimei. I have faith you'll come. Home at last, with my friends at my back. I'll be back soon, Mika. You're off to battle again, aren't you? Now, now. Don't look so sad. I know you've worked hard to give us a better life. But this isn't what I wanted. Then what do you want? You have a full belly, a roof over your head, and a brand new kimono. How many can say that? I just want you to be here with me. I'm scared. I don't know what I'd do if you didn't come back. I'm coming back. That's a promise. I want you to be happy, Mika. So happy that it washes away all the suffering you've known. Keep your head up. You deserve to watch the heavens. Yes, brother. General Ritsu. You called for me, your majesty. My fool brother and that rabble he calls an army has begun their advance. I'll begin bolstering the castle's defenses at once. No. I'll leave that task to another. I would keep you close to me. That is... an honor beyond imagining, your majesty. You've stepped over innumerable foes to reach your position. To go from a lowborn to a general. Your rise attests to your strength. Such is the way of the world. The mighty shall build their castles upon the corpses of the meek. The moment ripens. The eagle invites his friends to partake. Come to Ku, where the feast awaits. It seems all the preparations have been made. I must depart at once. Kazan. The moment is at hand, my friend. I've brought allies. Behold the heroes of Ku.
Lord Hikari. My prince. Where did... They've all gathered under your banner, my prince. Secretly, of course. Your bravery is much appreciated. We said our lives were yours, brother. And we're as good as our word. If you'll have us, that is. Gladly, Zito. It shall be an honor to fight by your side. My prince! That voice... It appears time has treated you well. Benkei, you're alive. I told you Mugen's rabble would not beat me. Thanks to the kind souls from our neighbor, Benkei was able to flee the battle and nurse his wounds. I never thought we'd fight together again. Nor did I, my prince. Lord Jigo would surely smile at our reunion. Our numbers grow. However, there is one who speaks volumes by her absence. Raime will come. Have faith, Kazan. As you say, my prince. Then we are ready at last. Every piece carefully in its place. We march for Castle Ku. A fortress that has stood impregnable for centuries. Countless legions have thrown their bodies against its walls, only to be buried underneath them. How would the Eagle find purchase? Nothing elegant. We storm the front gates. The front gates? I hope you've thought this through. I have. The front gates are Castle Ku's weakest point. What? They've not been breached once in all of our history. And that pride is precisely why they're weak. The fewest number of guards will be stationed there. The vast majority of soldiers are stationed at the obvious flaws. They're bait. Bait? A less thorough strategist would attack these blatant weak spots, not knowing that by doing so, they've already lost. Once their forces are drawn into the trap, they're met with blade and arrow. Castle Ku entices the enemy with its western gate, opposite the main gate. They won't expect us to attack from the front. Interesting. How do you plan on forcing the gate open, then? Follow me, my lord. What? The wind is howling! The Valley of Sandstorms, they call it. Wind from this region is funneled into this pass. At one end, we've stacked rocks to keep the wind from escaping. <sighs> I've delved into the records of this region's weather. At present, strong currents from the Eastern Sea flow into the valley. What do you think will happen when those frigid winds are finally given release? A storm will sweep across the land. One powerful enough to force a gate open. That sounds like something out of a children's tale. Do you really mean to manipulate the winds themselves? Did you forget who you're talking to? The Eagle of Ku is not bound by myth. He makes it. Lead your forces to the castle. As you approach its gates, take shelter behind something large. After the storm cuts a path forward, 
follow in its wake like the desert sands. I will. I put my utmost faith in you, Kazan. Good. The time has come, my prince. Your destiny awaits. Now, it's up to you, Kazan. Make way. Today, even the winds cry their support for our cause. Now, release the storm. By the Tempest! What is... It's a sandstorm! Run! His plan worked, the mad bastard. Uh, I've never felt such fierce winds! The Eagle adds another verse to his legend! Brothers! His schemes always were all or nothing. The storm has opened the way. Fight only those who draw their swords. We're here for Mugen. Now go forward, Pride of the Sands! They're at our rear! Gather the soldiers! Don't let a single one of them through! The bell! We make way to the Bell of Dawn! Your Majesty, an urgent report. A sandstorm has destroyed the front gate, and our enemies swarm through the breach. The Eagle of Ku sounds his return. Mageha, why don't you greet his entourage? Yes, Your Majesty. General Ritsu. I will bring the traitor's head to you, Your Majesty. Come! The castle is close. Okay. Just a scratch. Eyes on the battle. And him. Ageha. Prince Hikari, you've arrived just in time. You rats have fallen straight into our trap. Lay down your arms and surrender. Brothers, we have to do something or we'll be cut to pieces.
Assuming you make it through the gates with your lives, the next step in my strategy is... The Bell of Dawn. When it rings, our soldiers hiding inside the city will begin their assault. Until the bell rings your salvation, however, you will be the bait, my prince. Draw the attention of as many of our foe as you can. Understood. You're the one who's been trapped. What? The eagle has you in his sights. The bell heralds your defeat. Listen well, tyrants of Ku. Clan May casts off your iron fist. We will stand by Hikari's side and see King Mugen toppled from the throne. Raimei! Apologies for the delay, my friend. I was afraid, but no longer. I won't leave your side again. On the honor of Clan May, I pledge my spear to the new king. I never doubted you, Raimei. We are the pride of the sands. Watch us dance in the wind. My spear shall pierce the heavens and bring their judgment down upon my enemies. It's Raimei, the Spear of Levin. We don't stand a chance. How, how are they winning? We have the numbers. You always kept such deceitful company. Go, Hikari. Leave this area to us. Don't be so certain. There is nothing we cannot achieve so long as we remain defiant before fear. No matter the obstacle before me, I will not shrink from it. You gave me that courage, Hikari. Oh, Raimei. You go ahead. I stake the reputation of my clan on my duty. I shall cut the way forward. Go, my prince! We'll meet again soon. Of course. Now go. Don't look back. So you've come at last, Hikari. Ritsu. Impressed? Reckon you never thought I'd be general. Must you stand in my way? What am I standing in the way of again? Salvation? Don't make me laugh. All this talk of changing the country is just empty words. All that matters is what you can hold in your hands. <sighs> it's as simple as that, Hikari. And that's why I can't let you pass. That's the path I've chosen to walk. Ritsu. I would gladly walk the same path as you if I could. But if you do not step aside, then it will come to blows. Then come, Hikari. I know you wish to change this country, Hikari. But first I ask, what do you really know about Ku? The country where we lived off the castoffs of our betters. Have you ever felt the misery that pitiful existence leaves you with? I haven't, Ritsu. Who was built on warfare, 
with little regard for the people under it. But I want to change that. I want Ku to be a home for all, regardless of birth. A place where we look out for each other. In order to realize that, I would suffer any loss. My turn. Poison Slash! My turn. You're too kind. Prepare yourself. I'm waiting. Here I go. Lion dance. Cleaning time. Heal. I appreciate it, Throne. Now it begins. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath twofold. I return your wrath twofold. Here we go. Huh? There. My turn. Allow me. Well now. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. My turn. <laughs> You're open. Impressive. You forced my hand, Ritsu. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Right. Can't let my quarry escape. Cleaning time. Heal. You're a true friend. Well, no mercy, only pain. Drastic treatment is in order. Damn you, Hikari. Damn you. I spent so much time, sacrificed so much to get where I am. How is it you're still better than me? I'm not, Ritsu. We're equals. Let's do this together. End this war. Build a new country. You're still doing it. You're still pitying me. I spit on your pity, Hikari. The powerless will always be stepped on by the strong. You have to lift their boots off you with your own hands! You think your friends care about you? That's all lies! Strength is all that matters! I have to kill you. I have to reach the end of this path. You're wrong. Join us as a friend and put all this behind you. 
together, we'll cut Mugen down and end this war. This will be the last day that Ku sees red. Lower your sword, Ritsu. There needn't be blood spilled between us. But if you fight, I won't hesitate to cut through you. My turn. Bow of the Hunter! Ready? to do. A pinch of this and Many thanks. Let's go! Can't let my quarry escape! Feel the wrath! My turn. I'll end this. Allow me. Drastic treatment is in order. Sleep now. Forgive me. <sighs> Mika, forgive me. Hikari, <clears throat> you. You always shone so brightly, a, a, a beacon to everyone around you. And I know because I followed you for so long. Damn it. Go on, Ikari. Change. Go. Create a world where Mika can be happy. Ritsu, I walked by your side for years. I would have walked by your side for many more. I'll make Ku a place you would be proud of. I promise. You did well to cut through my men. Your strength belies your sullied birth. Mugen. Your lust for power has caused too much pain. No more. 
Absurd. Your corpse shall rot along with the rest of them. Be honored that your death will feed the glory of Clan Kool. I think not. I was weak before. I couldn't protect those close to me. But it will be me who strikes you down and brings an end to this misery you've sown. Hikari, the shame of Clan Ku. Your lowborn blood will be honored with a place on my blade. I will not let rage compel my sword. I do not take vengeance for the deaths of my father and mother. No. Today, I fight for my friends. Sentimental fool. Here I come. I'm waiting. Here I go. A pinch of this and... Thank you, Casty. Medium! <laughs> Cleaning time. You're too kind. Oh. <laughs> you well. How dare you? Heal. Rony. <clears throat> Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath twofold. Uh. Things are about to get sticky. Uh. A pinch of this and... I owe you. Now it begins. You're in for it now. I've got you've been exposed. How dare you? Heal. I appreciate it, Throne. Hold it together.
can't let my quarry escape! I return your wrath twofold. Medium! Now it begins. Allow me. Now it begins. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. <sighs> You're open. Here I go. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. Can't let my quarry escape! Here I move again. My blood boils. I'll end this. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. How dare you! Weak. Weakling, a child could best you. This isn't over. My allies... My allies give me strength. <laughs> strength... Strength... Strength is to exert your will upon others. To make them bend to it, or break. What do you know of strength? To see your enemy bleed. To make them know their place as your blade runs them through. Today, you will know yours, brother. <sighs> Today... Today, I fight for my friends. Here I come. Huh. 
How's this? Here we go! And now! What to do, what to do. How dare you! Holy light! An open book. Prepare yourself. You're in for it now. Now! You're open. Here I go. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. Right! Ready? As playtime is over! Aber, Prince of Thieves! What to do? Thanks. Let's go! Can't let my quarry escape! Now it begins. Mugen! I will extend a helping hand to all in need. Sword of the Conqueror! Who's next? I still have much to learn. <clears throat> Good! Why? It's over, Mugen. I won't lose to one of such low birth. Clan Ku is proud and was made great by its forebears who crushed their foes to dust. But our father tarnished himself with the company of a commoner. That wretched woman corrupted him. Her compassion infected him and the light of her bloodline lives on through you. Her clan had once, long ago, attempted to save the world. To deliver it from the Shadow. The Shadow? Compassion cannot build greatness. It was strength that led Clan Ku to glory, and strength alone. <sighs> and so I took it upon myself to eradicate that bloodline from the world. But you survived, and not even I could find a way around Father's protection. Now I'll snuff out the light you bear. There is none worthy to be my foe, none! <sighs> Do it, Ikari. What? It speaks to you.
Hikari, take his head. Show him that your bloodline is the only one worthy to rule. The strong prevail, and the weak are struck from the pages of history. Such is the nature of the world, right? Go away. You're not wanted here. Come now, Hikari. It's time we decide which of us is worthy to carry on. Which of us is worthy to bear our name? No. Today... Today I end this accursed blood feud! Raise your weapon. Come now, Hikari. It's time we decide which of us is worthy to carry on. <laughs> I will swallow you whole, Hikari. Now you learn the foolishness of your ideals. I admit I lived in fear of you. In fear of what your existence meant. I was weak. So you made it. You are breaking my heart, Ikari. Allow me to relieve you of your burden. Give me your body, mind, and soul! My turn. Choose your next move wisely. <laughs> I return your wrath twofold. Here I come. Show me your might. Soul gets to send. I return your wrath twofold. Prepare yourself. Choose your next move wisely. Hienka. I return your wrath twofold. I return your wrath twofold. <laughs> Soul gets to send. My turn. Choose your next move wisely. <laughs> I return your wrath twofold. Here I come. Show me your might. Now it begins. <laughs> it's pointless to resist, Hikari. Today, you become me. <laughs> the eagle puts his trust in you, Hikari. This future you've envisioned, it's worth wagering my life on. Kazan... I was afraid, but no longer. I won't leave your side again. You gave me that courage, Hikari. Right, May. Hikari. Change, Ku. Rebuild it with your own hands. Read so.
that's impossible. Beaten by this whelp. I was weak before, but I'm not alone. I won't cower in fear anymore. Not from you. <laughs> I return your wrath twofold. <laughs> Show me some fun. Here I come. What is this? Now it begins. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. <laughs> Don't forget, Hikari. I'll always be watching over your shoulder, waiting. Farewell, imposter. You will never win. You... Conquered it. You, the shame of our bloodline. How? I will do anything to see you brought low, Mugen. Anything. Now let us end this. Silence, you fool. You proud, arrogant fool! I have not been defeated yet! The Dark Blood Blade shall give me power! The power to crush my foes! To enshroud the world in darkness! Behold my strength and kneel! <coughs> no! You're not Mugen. <gasps> Quench the flames. Call out to the night. He's been consumed entirely. Even so, I will allow you no quarter. One way or the other, we fight for the final time, brother. Quench the flames. Call out to the night. It ends here, brother. I'm waiting. My turn. Here I go. Time for your medicine. 
Many thanks, Casty. Call out to the night. Right. My turn. Choose your next move wisely. My turn. Heal. Call out to the night. I return your wrath twofold. Let's go. What to do? What to do? A pinch of this and... I owe you. Quench of flame. I return your wrath twofold. <laughs> what to do? Hang in there. I appreciate it, Throne. Here I come. Choose your next move wisely. Call out to the night. I return your wrath twofold. Quench a flame. I return your wrath twofold. Hikari! I have a talent for making do. Time for your medicine. Many thanks, Casty. My prey awaits. Huh? There! Now! I can still fight. Allow me. My turn. You're open. Here I go. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. My prey awaits. Here. Many thanks. <laughs> what to do? Too kind. My turn. Uh... You're in for it now. You've been exposed. My prey awaits.
Here I go. My turn. You're in for it now. Let's go. <laughs> Can't let my glory escape. Well, now. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. My prey awaits. The hunt awaits. Here, this will help. Thanks. Ready? <laughs> You're open. My turn. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. My turn. I fight for my friends. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Here I go. Lion Dance. What to do? Hang in there. Prepare yourself. How's this? My turn. I I'll keep my friends safe. Ten the two sun. Who's next? For the pride of Ku.
Mugen. It's been so long, I forgot your face. You've aged under that armor, become a corpse yourself. The curse of our clan took everything from you. Prince Hikari. Kazan. Is it finished? It is. Well done, my prince. Now, everyone's waiting. We need someone to lead the cheer to our victory. Of course. My friends, Mugen is defeated. Lower your weapons. The war is over. Today, we cheer for victory! I, your highness. We won, my brothers! Yeah. Yeah! dawdling for hurry we've been invited let's go it's not every day you get to see a king be crowned Are you ready, your majesty? This crown is even heavier than it looks, Benkei. It's been passed down through generations. That's the weight of our nation's history on your shoulders. Now, the people are waiting. Then let us greet them. The crown suits you better than I could have imagined. Let's raise a glass to the new king. We've arrived at this day thanks to your eagle eye, Kazan. The only liquor sweeter than victory is peace. At last, we can finally share that drink, eh, my king? At last. You were right from the beginning, Hikari. Now I can walk with my head held high, because I did not shy away from my destiny. I never lost faith in you, Raimei. And you'll never have reason to. You have steadfast friends in Clan Mei. Likewise. King Hikari! Your Majesty! The crown is heavy indeed. Perhaps too heavy. People of Ku, today I become your king. But I stand before you as a friend. What's he doing? Where'd that crown go? <laughs> Never change, Hikari. Ku has been a nation trapped in a cycle of bloodshed. Our history is stained crimson. 
We stand upon countless sacrifices, countless victims. No longer, never again will we pay for prosperity with blood. The territories we have conquered, the clans we have subjugated, Today, I set them free. Today, I crush the yoke of Ku's tyranny forever. And today, we set foot into a future where we are not bound by birth, wealth, or status, but joined in fellowship and love. Even so, we mustn't forget those who came before. The blood that was shed the friends who were lost. They have guided us here, and together we shall all build a better home. Lord Hikari. Nika, I'm here to offer my apologies. Ritsu and I were unable to walk side by side. <laughs> War is something I've learned to live with. My brother... I know he killed a lot of people. But I don't understand why. Why did we have to fight for so long? <sighs> Lord Hikari, do you remember that day we all looked up at the sky together? I do. It's different now. Look. There's not a cloud in sight. <laughs> 